we are at our math time. Uh, today we're going to continue to work on measuring, uh, but we're going to answer some questions uh, from measuring based off of my video that I'm going to make because, again, I know that you might not have a measuring tool with you, so you're going to have to refer to my picture that I draw to answer your questions. But let's first, let's get to our application problem. This will be on Google Forms. Our application problem says, Josh measured an item that was 28 inches. Kyle measured an item that was two feet. Who, whose measurement is the longest? Why? You need to explain how you know. So, you have Josh who measured an item and Kyle who measured an item. Josh's measurement was 28 inches. Kyle's item is two feet. Who has the longer uh, measurement? So you're going to tell me who's got the longest measurement. Is it Kyle or is it Josh? And you're going to tell me why. Please explain how you know this. Again, you're going to be able to find this question and problem on Google Forms. Now, I know that most of you have been measuring, even though you may not have a ruler. I've seen a lot of pictures with you measuring using a tape measure, and that's great. If you have a tape measure handy, uh, measure a cup today. And if you can, measure a, uh, if you have a deck of playing cards, measure a playing card. But if you don't have, to have anything available, you don't have to worry about that, because we're going to look at this triangle that I've drawn. As you can see, I've drawn a triangle and I've labeled the measurements for each side. We've got side A, it measures 12 inches. We've got side B, it measures 10 inches. And we've got side C, it measures 9 inches. I'm going to ask you some questions based off of our measurements that we have here. So the first question, and all these questions are going to be found on Google Forms. The first question is, which side is the shortest? Side A, B, or C? Question number two, what is the sum of side A and side C? What would the sum of side A and side C be? My next question is, what is the difference in length from side B to side C? And my last question is, if you add all three sides up, what would the total length be? You just have those questions to answer today. Again, going to be on Google Forms. Also, attached on Google Forms are go is going to be these problems. How many inches equal a foot? Five inches plus the missing length in inches would equal a foot. And how many inches plus four inches would equal a foot? Remember, you need to know how many inches equal a foot. These, again, will be found on Google Forms. For math today, you have your application problem and measuring questions, both found on Google Forms, and you're going to finish by doing Zern for 15 minutes. That should take care of your math. Remember, if you do have a tape measure handy, measure two items. Measure a cup and measure a deck of playing cards. If you can do that, that'd be great. If you can't, just be sure that you try to answer these questions. Remember, happy measuring. For our activity and challenge today, it is going to be take a brain break. Enjoy it. Relax. Have fun. Take a brain break. If you are on our Google presentation, I will attach a brain break or two in that presentation. If you are not able to do that, then you can find your own brain break, whether that is just relax, stretch, do some yoga, whatever. But it is activity and challenge time. Brain break for you. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, we are now at our special message time. That's right, special message time. And your special message it comes today from, you call her Miss Megan, I call her Mrs. Hagedorn, or your art teacher, Miss Megan, has a special message. Let's see what she has to say. Come on. Hello, Mr. Elliot's class. Um, I hope that you all are staying well and that you're not working too hard on your e-learning. I am staying busy and uh, working around the house, getting some stuff done, working in the yard, and playing outside a lot. 
with my little boy, Easton, who are playing baseball and jumping on the trampoline and swinging on the swings and just having fun and just enjoying time outside uh, when we can, when it's not raining. And I hope that you guys are doing the same as well during this time. I want to give everybody a huge air hug. I miss you guys very much and cannot wait to see you guys again. So stay well. You know what time it is. It's read aloud time. Cam Jansen style. Chapter 7. Where are we going? Eric asked. That woman carrying the shopping bag into the store made me think, Cam said as they walked. What's there to think about? Eric asked. That woman's probably forgot to buy something, so she came back. That's why she's walking into the store carrying a shopping bag. Maybe, Cam said, and maybe not. Eric followed Cam to the other end of the store. They walked through the curtain, sheet, and towel department to gift, wrap, and returns. Cam looked at the long lines of people waiting to return something they had bought. Then she found her. The woman in blue dress was in the middle of the last line. There she is, Cam whispered. Now I understand why she didn't have the corn popper when we saw her, Eric whispered. As soon as she steals the shopping bag, she returns whatever is in it and keeps the money, Cam said. And that's why none of the exit guards saw her. She never left the store. Then Cam told Eric, I'll wait here. You get on one of the guards. Eric took a few steps away. Then he came back. I think I'll get guard number 397, the one with the ketchup stain. I know he'll come. Eric walked off. Cam stood at the end of the one of the other lines and watched the woman. There were two shoppers in line ahead of the woman in the blue dress. Cam watched as the woman behind the return counter gave the money to the first shopper in the line. The man counted the money and walked away. Everyone in the last line moved a step closer to the return counter. Now there was only one shopper ahead of the woman in the blue dress. An old man lifted a large suitcase onto the return counter. He spoke to the woman behind the counter and then showed her the zipper on the suitcase. The woman took the suitcase and returned the money that she, he had paid. The old man smiled and walked away. Now the woman in blue dress stepped up to the counter. The woman in the blue dress took a box and a receipt out of the shopping bag and put them on the counter. Then she took two more boxes from the bag and put them on the counter too. Cam looked into the curtain sheet and the towel department to see if Eric was coming with the guard. He wasn't. The woman behind the returns counter gave the woman in the blue dress some money. The woman in the blue dress smiled and walked quickly away. She walked past Cam. Excuse me, Cam said as she ran in the front of the woman. Do you know where I can find the taffy? I'm sorry, I don't, the woman said. If you buy taffy, you get free jelly beans. Don't you like jelly beans, Cam asked? I don't like jelly beans. I don't like taffy. And I'm in a hurry, the woman said. Now will you please get out of my way? The woman gently pushed Cam aside and walked off. Cam ran ahead of her and asked, Have you ever tasted a red jelly bean? They're really good. I told you, I'm in a hurry. I have no time for jelly beans. What's your hurry? Someone asked. It was guard number 397. Eric was with him. I have shopping to do. You mean you have stilling to do. We know about the shopping bags. The woman started to run, but two other guards were walking up the aisle. They caught her. A woman with red hair and a bright green dress walked quickly up to the guards. Come with me, she said. The guards and the shopping bag thief followed the woman with the red hair. She turned to see that they were all behind her. Then she pointed to Cam and Eric and said, You, too. That takes us to chapter 8, and it looks like tomorrow will be the end of our story. Now... I made a prediction. It sounds like my prediction was wrong. It does sound like it, Cam was right. It was the woman in the blue dress. But it sounds like she keeps returning the stuff and getting money. Let's find out what happens in Chapter 8 tomorrow. That will be the end of Cam Jansen tomorrow. Let's do a quick recap of homework for today and tonight. You have... Questions on Google Forms for Slippery Siblings to answer about Blaze. You have I Ready reading for 15 minutes. Don't forget to read that poem and read 20 minutes on your own time. As we move to writing, you've got your Google Docs a journal entry. If you're not doing a Google Docs journal entry, continue to be writing your journals and then send those to me, followed by writing a poem that deals with repetition. As we move to math, you're going to have two Google Forms. One 
on your application problem, another one on your measuring problems questions. Finish up by doing Zern for 15 minutes. That takes you to your activity and your challenge, which is just to enjoy a brain break or two. It's up to you. Well, guys, we've come to the end. We've done our reading, our writing, our math, as well as our brain break activity challenge. You've had a special guest, Optimus Prime. You had a special message from Miss Megan. But now, I got to leave you. And I say, until Wednesday. That's a wrap. See you later.